strategy. And uh, yeah, let's put away those drop and runs. Disco for the maximum straight away. It's through Divine. It's uh, through Wilson as well as we see the first runs to the Perth Scorchers. Clubs it straight down the ground. And that fit in beautifully at the end of my sentence because that's exactly <laughs> what she used to do is club it straight back down the ground. That's the field that they've set that delivery for, but Beth Mooney is well and truly up to the challenge and takes them out of the equation by hitting up and over and long. She's gone once, she goes twice. This time, flatter, firmer, same result though. Just that length that she's bowling it. As Mooney sets initially to go to the onside, realises it's been pushed wide and that is world-class hands there to find the boundary line. Ah, and a misfield. That's not what you need as the skipper of the Thunder. After a boundary off the first, then a little misfield. You cannot let these two off the hook. Oh, it's tickled fine from Beth Mooney. That has raced away as well. So a couple of little early danger signs here for the Sydney Thunder because Divine and Mooney have got off to... In the air and down. Oh, how is that going to hurt the Sydney Thunder? It's the skipper, Heather Knight, and she knows it. In the field. Yeah. And drops one short to Divine. When we talk about Cap with bat and ball, she's uh, equally. Oh, hit on the fine. It's low and it's been given. So she got dropped two deliveries ago, Beth Mooney. <laughs> Sammy Joe Johnson into the attack, gets that too short. And Devine does not miss out. Boulder, top of off works for Sammy Joe Johnson and the Thunder. That's her 100th wicket in the WBBL as well. And what a wicket to bring up the milestone. Yep. Flat. Hard and space there to Nat Siverbrunt. Boulder, there it is. Hit the ball into her leg. Mind was on that to start with Nat Siverbrunt. The domestic players now. And so often in the WBBL, we talk about those opportunities for players to step up. There was chats about... Captain, sorry. Looking to go up and over, and it was coming, it was coming, and they decided not to go for the LBW shouts. Let's just go for the catches in the field. Moment, one over for 13. Boulder has played all around that. That is an unbelievable shot there from Chloe Paparo. Beaten all ends up by pace, by a little bit of dip. Boulder, how many times have we seen it today? The seam bowlers, the spinners, it doesn't matter. They're aiming for that off stump. And on numerous occasions, they have hit it. Chipped down the ground. Straight to Darlington this time. And this time it's not given a no ball and a free hit as Bates moves to 98 wickets in the competition. Jones goes straight down the ground and Atapatu doesn't have the pace or the left hand on it. Straight down the ground out, Darlington. It's the hand it deflects and that will go over the boundary line. So as Jones goes deep in the crease and that's gone all the way. First six of the innings for the Perth Scorchers. Oh, and a lot of movement as well, but we saw Beth Mooney do it and now seeing Amy Jones do it. A wonderful adjustment from the hands for the four. Sets this off very early indeed, but it was again, it was that lack of pace from Padu. but Jones gets enough, just enough to find the boundary. to the offside for the first time goes Amy Jones and does it superbly well. Here's the flurry they were looking for. 
And she's going up and over the offside again. Why not? Third boundary, two fours and a six. Jones looking to go big to finish off the innings, but all she manages to do is find the safe pair of hands of Phoebe Litchfield. And that probably ends the Perth Scorchers 20 overs in a way that defines the rest of the 20 overs as well with the Sydney Thunder on top. As Phoebe Litchfield just keeps the head down. She doesn't even see how far that ball's gone. So Phoebe, it's gone for six, if you want to know. End of the second over. Okay, we'll just ease our way in. No need to be too forceful. Oh, and this might be the opportunity here. Strong hands at the stumps by Edgar. Yeah, she's got those. The throw was great from Peschel. And Phoebe Litchfield has to depart after a horrible mix-up. She's happy to chew up a few balls. Holds the shape beautifully. Sure. There's no greater awareness. As that's in the air, just wide of the setup behind the wicket that Sophia Devine was trying to lure Shamari Atapatu in. She hits that one right, though. <laughs> as, as a coach, it's always interesting when you do a bat v bowler net scenario. And the has gone once, Chamari Atapatu. Didn't quite middle it as well, but she'll be more than happy with the end result. Atapatu does not want to let Alana King settle, so goes after her straight away, and it was Sophie Devine who was running back and had a lot to do. And, a pop and if she's top of the order for the runs and you haven't won a title, I think you've got a pretty good reply. Oh, and here's an opportunity. This time it's lit. Uh, had a patter who needs to turn around and get back home. Well, she stands and admires once again, and she can do on this occasion because I think she knew pretty much straight away that she got enough of that. This time to the onside. It's flat, it's hard, and it's good enough. Attack. Yeah, that's nine from her first. And goes back of a length to Atapatu. Tell you what, not a bad option even trying to dig a couple in. And no one's really tried a short ball. Yeah, definitely a bit slower than we're used to here at Cricket Central. But um, I guess you get the pitch that you're delivered with. And yeah, we love the conditions here. Um, no matter uh, what, it's a home. Off the cuff decision? Or was that always going to happen before the game started? Yeah, that was always going to happen. Obviously, uh, Talia Wilson has done an amazing job at the top of the order for us. Um, is that another 50 to add up? Or just a boundary. Uh, You'd love to see Hannah back there. As Adapadu stands and delivers. First ball from Nat Siverbrunt straight over the umpire's head for another four. Pulls it off its length. So that's the area that uh, Chamari Adapadu just been setting herself for a little bit after a couple of dot deliveries against Siverbrunt. Again. Well, she starts to run because she doesn't feel as if she's got enough of it, but she didn't need to. Maybe she's been listening to us a little bit. Okay. Holds the shape of the shot there, does Heather Knight. She's in complete control at the moment. That's around hip height for Heather Knight. She will take the first ball of the next over. And Clipped off the pads nicely. It's racing, racing, yeah. And the ball beat, wins that race. Chamari Adipadu's had enough of those good deliveries, she says, though. So creates a... Throws the hands at it. Stands and delivers to Chamari Adipadu. So boundary off the first. As Chamari Adipadu wants this game done and dusted. And that will get them one hit away. One needed. The bat goes underneath the arm and she says, yep, that's just another day at the office for myself and for my team as well. They're back on their winning ways. The Sydney Thunder having lost their last two. And that is an emphatic nine-wicket win.